Is this on? No, is this on? Listen, it's a flying barbell. We're about to do Arnold Schwarzenegger's arm routine, baby, because we want to get a massive pump. But we got to change into the right outfit to make this happen. So let's go ahead and get into our arm day fit. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. That's more like it. Let's do this arm workout. Again, we're gonna be attempting Arnold Schwarzenegger's arm workout today. He has some of the most glorious, just iconic biceps, triceps, arms in general. It's reported that his arms were 22 to 24 inches in size. Mine right here, he's probably like 15 to 16 inches. So he's got almost like, almost like 10 inches on me. Pause. But we're gonna do this workout. We're gonna see if we can grow our arms, get a massive pump in honor of this awesome pump workout. I made sure to take the proper supplements. So we have here Edge of Insanity from Psychopharma, but what we really wanted was pump, dude. We have our nice pump so we can get a massive pump, obviously. You can grab these supplements. I use my code down below, Blind Barbell, save 20% on Psychopharma. That's enough chitter chatter. Let's go make some awesome gains. All I did was supersets. So most of the things that we're gonna do are gonna be supersetted. The first exercise that we have Today for Arnold arm workout is we've got these seated incline curls. They're like eight to 10 reps and we're gonna superset that with some tricep push downs. All right, so each set, we're pretty much gonna be taking uh, eight to 10 reps as the rep range and we wanna push as close as we can to failure. That's what I've read when I've looked at this workout. Arnold would just grind, 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 grind pretty much every set. Now we wanna keep the form as strict as we can, but we'll, we'll, we might swing a little Straight up the end. tricep push downs. Trying to get a nice squeeze at the bottom here. Oh. Oh, really pumping blood into those muscles. <clears throat> Something I really like about superset training is you just get all that blood just flows directly into uh, both your biceps and triceps when you're supersetting. Pretty obviously, but it just feels amazing. Oh gosh. Mm. Just pump out the set. Ugh. A few more reps. Oh. Oh yeah, we're gonna be that some more weight for the next set, From everything I read too, the rest is pretty much just pick up the next exercise and go for this workout. So we're just gonna pump through these. We have four rounds of this. This is round two. We're gonna get this pump before we get huge arms. What I really enjoy about doing the seated incline dumbbell curls is you just get a massive stretch in the bicep. You can kind of just let that dumbbell hang at the bottom and it stretches out everything and you squeeze at the top, you just get the most nasty, gnarly pump of your whole life doing these. Love incorporating them. Obviously, Arnold knows what he's doing. And then these push downs, I love trying to squeeze at the bottom every rep is kind of what I focus on. Uh, and that's what's gonna force your just insane tricep pump. Feels so good. How's the pump looking? That already feels amazing. Round three, baby. Let's go. What's interesting too is right now we're doing the competition prep workout, which is a lot of supersets, a lot of high paced things. Um, but Arnold and, and most of these older classic guys, what they would do is they would do these higher pace, uh, higher volume workouts um, in the regular season, their competition season. And then in the off season, they would actually slow things down um, and do heavier workouts with more rest. Oh. Like I need a grunt more for this workout. You know, Arnold's iconic. Just... So we really gotta make some noise here. <laughs> Super set that we're doing is gonna be alternating single arm dumbbell curls with single arm overhead tricep extensions. It's gonna be brutal. I'm, I'm pretty much not gonna rest. Everything that I'm seeing looked up about this is you basically just go one arm, next arm, 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 and you just boom, 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 all the way through this. Um, get high, high pace. This was contest prep workout, so we really just trying to pump through. Let me get out. You know, call me crazy, but I'm just a sucker for these alternating dumbbell curls. They just feel so cool. You know, you get a little momentum uh, each side, really rip that dumbbell up there, but you just feel like a complete baddie doing these. So we're just pumping up our biceps big time, trying to push as close as we can to failure. And now we have these uh, single arm overhead tricep extensions. These aren't something that I've personally done a lot of, but hey, they're in the workout. We gotta follow Arnold. Arnold is the king here. So we're trying to do non-stop, non-stop, just one after the other, each arm. Something you'll notice about um, these overhead tricep extensions, if you do all this, like you get just the, the most massive stretch 
on your tricep. So you kind of, you can even lean into it just a little bit to allow an even greater stretch. Uh, again, that's something that the Golden Era guys, just like Arnold, really love to do is get a nice, massive stretch on those muscles with almost every exercise. So when it comes to these alternating uh, dumbbell curls, something that I've actually done to push these type of sets even beyond this normal excellent level is I will do the dumbbell alternating curls until I fail there and then I'll switch to just doing hammer curls alternating because hammer curls are a little easier than this just a normal dumbbell curl and then you get like an insane drop set crazy pump and it feels wild but obviously right now that's not what Arnold prescribed so we're not doing it we're going into these tricep extensions overhead and they're actually really pumping up my triceps way more than I thought they would again I don't normally do this variation um, but man, it's working. You got to trust Arnold. Let's get you another look at the side action of these biceps just filling with blood. I, I might have to step on the Olympia stage after this. I mean, if I do this workout enough, I will have Arnold's arms. So it's only a matter of time before you see me competing on the Olympia stage. Obviously, if I do Arnold's workouts. But here we go. Just absolutely pump it through this workout, guys. That's the second super set down. Arnold's arm workout. Oh, pump's getting even bigger. Let's go ahead and get into our third superset. Okay, for our third superset in Arnold's arm workout, we have uh, printer curls, and then we also have uh, lying skull pressures. So we're gonna be doing those back to back again. It's another superset. Um, I don't really have a printer curl set up, so I'm gonna do the best I can. I'm just gonna use my dumbbells. And again, we're gonna try and get, uh, it's eight to 10 reps, because the rep range pretty much for the whole workout. Let's go ahead and let's get after this. I truly think the secret to success for the preacher curls is the fact that you're actually praying for gains. So you're able to almost quadruple the amount of gains that you would get on a normal set because you're able to pray for some massive arms. But I really like these actually, they they feel better than I thought they were going to. Uh, I've done them in the past and they just really haven't worked. So I might have to do them again since I like them here. But dumbbell skull crutcher is an absolute bread and butter for me, love these. Those sets we're doing, we're pretty dang close to failure, um, this guy just like for the course, back in the day, to kind of train, to train as hard as you could, and Arnold especially, basically train as hard as you could, as long as you could, um, especially during competition press. He'd have, what was it, he'd be doing like his two days, um, just training for hours. I mean, Arnold would all work at it. Work, 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 work. That's what it was gonna take to become better. That's what he did. So, these workouts are usually, uh, you know, again, high intensity, high volume, just get after it, keep going. I'll make the most out of out of the gym session every time you get in because every rep for him was one rep closer to winning the Miss Olympia. Come on. Not gonna lie, I actually kinda like these. I haven't done that before in my home gym before. It's kinda nice. Yeah. Shouldn't be surprised since Arnold did them. Ugh, they're a good exercise. Um, it's going to be four rounds just like the other ones, aiming for eight to ten reps. Uh, we got our reverse grip, tricep push downs, and then an exercise that's near and dear to my heart. We got the concentration curl. Like I said, the concentration curl is absolutely near and dear to my heart. When I was in high school, um, just trying to grow the absolute biggest arms that I could to impress curls for the girls, you know how it is. Um, I would do these all the time because when I first saw pumping iron and saw that scene of Arnold just leaning over and just cranking these out I was like oh my goodness this is what I need to do this is the key to getting massive arms so I used to do these all the time to like uber 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 failure like I would be failing with one arm and then take the other and just like barely squeeze out more reps um, we're also doing in this superset uh, after these concentration curls we have these little like reverse grip tricep things uh, not really <laughs> not really feeling it to be honest but you know we're doing them for Arnold but concentration curls ah so many good memories doing these. I just, I just love them. Can't say enough good things about them. To be honest, I don't feel them really amazing, but the nostalgia, there. We just finished Arnold's arm workout. An absolutely goaded workout. I mean, this pump, I can't, I cannot touch my shoulders. Zero percent can I touch my shoulders right now. Uh, high volume, high intensity, we just got after it, made it happen. I give this workout, to be honest, 
For nostalgia, 10 out of 10. I did Arnold's workouts all the, all the time back in the day. But <laughs> to be completely objective, I'd probably give this workout uh, like a 7 out of 10. I think that last exercise, the reverse grip, try some push downs, didn't really feel it, could just be a me thing. Um, and I probably would have cut some of those, uh, some of those down to three sets. I always find in the fourth set, mentally, I just can't check it in. And I lose some of the gains. But you can't go wrong with an arm workout. I mean, this pump is just insane. Insane! Goodbye, Barbara. We'll catch you in the next video.